It's Friday, July 25th, 2025. TGIF, your day with a podcast brought to you by the Advocates Injury Attorneys. If you've been injured in an accident, don't face it alone. Get an experienced local Wyoming attorney on your side. Free consultations at wyomingadvocates.com or call 307-800-1952. You deserve an advocate. Well, drier air is going to change things up. There's basically a a bit of a weather pattern change coming our way here in the days ahead. So this will eliminate thunderstorms in some areas, reducing some in others around the edges. As we've shown you over the last couple of days, there still will be thunderstorms. So on the edge of the moisture with a deeper moisture that we've had around interfaces with the dry air, is where there'll be some thunder. And this type of drier air pattern is gonna be with us probably through Monday. Then the next monsoonal moisture surge is going to arrive around Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. And that could go for several days. We've got some disagreement in the modeling on how extensive the monsoonal moisture will be and where exactly it's going to go. So we're going to paint with a broad brush. But the subtropical moisture yesterday did get a little bit further west, as you can see here over into Carbon County, Wyoming. And then along the front range of the Bighorn Mountains, again, some of those low clouds is showing how moisture rich the air was. And boy, it was. We had dew points in some areas in the lower 60s yesterday, as you'll see here in a moment where the thunderstorms did form, they tapped into that heavy moisture. Folks in the Bighorn Basin of Wyoming were able to see thunderstorms at quite the distance yesterday as they were building on the other side of the mountains, as we can see there near Cowley. And then good shots of Mamatis clouds from Hot Springs, South Dakota to near Thermopolis, Wyoming yesterday. And then late yesterday afternoon and evening, almost a replay of what happened the day before, heavy rain producing thunderstorms popped up over portions of Colorado, eastern Wyoming, and western Nebraska. And it was feast or famine. Either you didn't get anything, or you got a couple of sprinkles, or you got this. Down in eastern Laramie County of Wyoming, a very heavy thunderstorm developed, very similar to the thunderstorm that developed over the Cheyenne area on Wednesday. They developed again, but this time they were further displaced more off to the east. And as you can see, these are the situations where the expression, don't drown, turn around, don't try to drive through that. In flash flooding, the majority of the people who are are killed in flash floods are in their cars. And this is why, when you get in situations like this, thanks for Ed for sending that in. Wow, very impressive, and you can see there, tagline just short of two inches of rain in less than 45 minutes and there's your classic flash flooding situation in eastern laramie county yesterday and then up in gordon nebraska beautiful shot there of a double rainbow satellite photo this morning does show the advancement of the drier air as you can see right here beginning to push in to areas along and west of the divide. There's a little pocket of moisture right here. That might trigger a couple of thunderstorms today, but you can see it's the edges, and this will be the common theme is where the thunderstorms will be today. And the precipitable water by noon mountain time really shows all of that very, very well. So the drier air comes in, the interface of the dry air and the moisture is where your thunderstorm activity is gonna flare up. This is today and this is Monday. So you can see Monday gets a little bit more juicy up into Montana there, but the dry air stays over the Great Basin states, the desert southwest, and a lot of the Rockies. But that moisture does curve around into the Dakotas, into Nebraska there, and then you can see some patches of green down in Texas and Oklahoma. So thunderstorms around the edges. This is where the thunderstorms are going to be today. So you can see the front range in eastern plains of Colorado into the panhandle, And then across the western Dakotas and eastern Montana will be the most active today. Same for Saturday. So almost the same thing today, Saturday, and then for Sunday. Saturday, you can see there's a little bit of a backward track of thunderstorms in eastern Wyoming a little bit. But for the most part, it's the same theme here. And this is going to be the theme through Monday, around the edges. Then as we take a look at where we are on Sunday with the high pressure system across the south central United States, 
The high is going to be over the southeast. That allows that drier air. Believe it or not, even though it's coming off the water, the drier air is coming on in. The air is just drier there. It happens to be that dry pocket. That's what comes in. Notice we've got another notch in the flow. And that will be a factor as we get in the next week because that notch is going to do what the last notch did. It's going to rotate around the high and come back later. But where the high is placed through the weekend allows the drier air to come in. See how the airflow is pushing out into the Pacific? The subtropical moisture getting, is getting redirected. So it has to get redirected back this way. And that's what happens next week as the high shifts. As the high shifts westward, sets up again, the wind barbs start to show. There you go. The moisture comes in. And look, again, this is where you have to just pay attention. And you see the little notch. There's an upper level disturbance, a little upper low that's going to be associated with this pattern. And it's going to rotate around again. And this is common. You just have to look out for them. So as we get into that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday time frame of next week, here we go. This graphic starts here over the weekend and then you can see as we go through the course of next week you can see the brown is replaced with the white then the green underneath the high is where the brown is more persistent right there so next week is going to be active again with thunderstorms and the potential for them to be heavy rain producers that's going to cycle through again next week into the first weekend of august Temperature wise, this is Monday through Saturday of next week. So you can see where the showers and thunderstorms are going to be more prominent. Temperatures a bit cooler than average. The heat's more bottled up in the south, like it usually is this time of year. But you can certainly still see the blue having an effect on throttling back temperatures a bit from getting too hot. Have a great weekend. We'll have more for you on Monday.